We are back with more OEPL. I got the timing on point, perfect timing. We got Teal with Eternal Spirit and got some sun in OU. Let me turn on the volume and the music a bit. I don't know if you, I don't know if it makes a difference for you guys, but for me, the music was way too loud at the beginning. Okay, so nice Hooper, Volturn kind of team with like, like Koku gets Volts with Eugen, right? Liners and Scissor obviously having u turn probably, unless it's like Double Lens Lander, which it's obviously Rock Lander looking at Eternal's team. But it could still be Z move. Z move Landris with Rocks. Okay, looking at Teal's team, dang, that's cool. Medicham, Weewall, you don't see that every day. Looks like RS kind of with a Toxic Pack. Okay, so the exchange had us turn 1, turn 2. Um, that turn, turn, turn 2 didn't really do anything for uh, Eternal because uh, Thoros on healed everything back that the Earth did basically with cheat and leftovers like the Earth did 9% like it did nothing so Teal can either double leech cheat here or he can go for spikes again he like, goes for spikes again so like I don't know why Eternal is staying in this doesn't do anything for him so he finally switches out on the Hooper on the Third spike on the okay okay never mind never mind teal goes out into landless. What did teal predict there? Oh yeah, he predicted just uh, eternal eternal kept clicking off quick, so he was like, I'm trying to go landless, get up my rocks, and now he get reps the momentum with his U-turn. And you see, uh, Eternal's Lars is uh, not left over, so it could still be Z move, like I said earlier. Yeah, uh, I could also see Z move Hooper or Z move Coco. I don't know. I don't really see Scarf Kelly on this team. Uh, I don't really see Z move Kelly on this team because I think it has to be Scarf Kelly, is what I meant to say. But yeah, uh, Weevil has a threat and Mega Scissor. I don't know if it can switch into Knock Off because it's not Mega yet. Uh, Tapofini would potentially get blown away by the gunk shot, uh, the poison jab I mean. He decides to go for Icicle Crash, play it safe. We don't see Life Orb, I don't know if that was banned or if that's a potential Z move we were. Uh, I think it's a potential Z move we were looking at Teal's team. I could see Scar, Vladi and Z move we were. But you never know, okay, Turn finally gets a defog after roosting. And Landris throws up the rocks. As we see, it's a faster scissor. Like, the scissor sees the Landris, is what I'm trying to say here. So, he's running some speed on that, which makes a lot of sense because you want to U turn out on Magnus Zones. You don't want to get trapped by that. And the Fini is kind of obvious here, so he makes the Hooper. As it's Dragon's Ladder, the heat is here. Good lord, so it's probably Earthquake. Maybe Z move Ladder then? Because, like, it's not Scarf. I thought it was Scarf at first. But yeah, it is Earthquake. I thought it would be Earthquake for sure. Didn't go for Dragon Claw. Didn't want the Fini to come in for free. But Landris was a fine play there by Eternal. And. Yes, Z move. Is it Z Ice Beam? Z Devastating Drake? Was that Z Outrage? Or was, what was that? Was it Z Draco Meteor? It could be a mix, Gladios. I don't think he would have HP5. We see Dragon Dance, we see a Earthquake and a Dragon Move in Devastating Drag. We don't know which Dragon Move it is yet. Could be out Dragon Claw Draco. <laughs> but yeah, Eternal gets a nice Eugen. The Eugen was pretty much free unless it was HP Fire Lottie, which wouldn't have even killed probably because it wasn't a life orb. But it's pretty unlikely that he's HP fire on that set. The last move on the Laddie could be. I see Sex of the Laddie. Maybe predicting a T bolt from the Hooper or a Psy Shock. Because the Toxic Bags was in on the Hooper. So I could see this being banned at Hooper, definitely. And we was gonna go for Pursuit here or for Knockoff. I think Pursuit is the play. Because the, the sets are basically walls, the Wiiwa. So. Teal wants to get something out of this turn and trap the Hooper, I think, yeah. I mean, Eternal can obviously stay in here. But yeah, Hyperspace Fury is not going to kill the Rewild. I realize bad defenses, but it still resists the Hyperspace Fury. 
As Pissu doesn't kill, I think that is Bandit Weaver looking at that damage, and the Hooper is not Bandit, so I was wrong there, I think it was Bandit Hooper. We see Hyper Specific Gunk Shot. So what is this Hooper set? It could be Shed Shell, it could be... We still haven't seen a Zemo from Eternal side. But Medicham is gonna go for Fake Auto or something like that, and... Yeah, Medicham obviously outspeeds the Hooper. The Hooper changed that moves. Medicham outspeeds the Hooper. Uh, so I don't know why I said fake out. That was obviously a wrong prediction on my part, good lord. Dang it, this makes me feel so bad. Like, I wanna give you guys good narrations, but I'm like... I only slept four hours, so it's, <laughs> it's rough out here. Um, Keldeo, I don't know if it can Oko Medicham with Hydro Pump, but... He makes the Landris play Breathing Thunder Punch, but then Headbutt is there, and this Landris... He's gonna Ice Punch here. Like, Ice Punch is the obvious play. I don't know if he will Ice Punch, but he's gonna pivot into something that resists Ice Punch, is what I'm trying to say exactly. So finally I get something correct there in my narration. <laughs> if we could see a Moomba on just Madness, at least he Calm Mind, oh lord. So this is probably Hydro Pump, Moonblast, Calm Mind, Taunts, Tapafini, HP Fire, good god. Eternal Spirit packing some fire sets. I mean, I've used HP Fire in a life. Shouts to I'm so sorry at all for passing that to the team. We have used that, but... I didn't think that Eternal would use that. As Eternal makes a risky play there, Calm Mining. Predicting Teal to switch out um, to Feral Thorn and Calm Mine it again. And yeah, Teal missed the power, which sucks a lot. Yeah, this is for UPL Mement S for anything. Hmm. What is Pharaohson doing? Is it worth to save the Pharaoh now? I can see Teal going to uh Toxapex this uh turn. Yeah yeah exactly. He just goes for HP Fire, which does absolutely nothing to Toxic Peg. Taunts on a potential Haze as um, Teal, okay, doesn't predict that, which is fine, which is fine. He's just gonna go for Scald Burn, Fish, cause, like, Fishing for Scald Burn here probably, because I don't think this, uh, I don't think this Toxic Peg has Sludge Bomb that's, like, not common at all. I think Lefties or someone used that on Toxic Peg, because it's, like, kills Bulu. Like Bandit Bulu can threaten Toxic Pack. Yeah, so he either doesn't have he does either doesn't have Moonblast or Hydro. I think he probably has Moonblast. No way, that's psychic. He's commanding up and he can dodge the burner so far, which is nice for Eternal. Heart Medicham on a taunt. Stop this, man. So it is, yeah, I was about to say, this Medicham doesn't have, it doesn't have T-Punch because it has, it showed the net but an Ice Punch, which makes me think that the next moves are Fake Out and High Jump Kick. And... Okay, so yeah, Teal just forfeited there since. Yeah, that, that, the power mill, uh, power miss Elia sucked. He caught. He caught Eternal on the. on the Calm Mind play. I don't think Eternal had to make that play, but like. It worked out because he dodged, so that was like. Eh, that was unlucky for Teal. And like, the Landers is defensive, so it gets out sped and dies to Moonblast at plus 4. Pharaoh dies to HP Fire. I mean, he could have still gone to Pex there and gone for Skullburn, but at this point it was over anyway. Even if he killed this type of Fini, his team was already, like, he already lost 3 months. Like, Kelio basically. After his Pex takes more damage. Like, Coco kinda goes in on him. Hoopa goes in. Like, Ferrozon was low, yeah, Coco was going in if it had HPS for Lando. So, yeah, I understand Teal forfeiting there, which. Yeah, unlucky, unlucky uh, power dodge or miss rather. And yeah, we can look at the score here. Thankfully, I was able to catch this one alive. I don't know when the the, 
I think most of the other games are gonna happen on Sunday. But yeah, Eternal Spirit vs. Teal Wars, uh, BB Seasons vs. Here's some hikers, so this uh, sucks a lot. Teal is on Maddie Brolic's team. That loss to Hex sucks in the sense that uh, Maddie Brolic's team, they were up 2 and 0 after Black Oblivion picked up the win and DJ picked up the win. And then uh, Gypsy lost to a timeout, which was a disgusting game. And now Teal lost to Hex, so yeah. Like, I don't know, I'm not saying that Teal won this 100%, obviously, but like. He had a good shot. Like, he still would have had a medi his Magic Gem. And it would have been a tough game, I think, but Teal had a chance, I think. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm gonna go and watch some smart just now. My man Padlop is trying to qualify for playoffs. It's alright this week, so I'm not super excited, but I'll still watch it. Probably not recorded though. Um, I think there was some other game that I wanted to record today, but I forgot. Stay tuned for um, OST finals tomorrow. That's gonna be coming for sure. Oh yeah, I don't know when the Poker TCG Gamer game is happening. Hopefully I can catch that. Oh yeah, Tony's game. There was his passion is happening today. I think some, I think it's after S2, oh yeah, and also Psychic Mewtwo vs Chill Shadow should be after Smog Tours, or when they are out of Smog Tours, so yeah, it's nice that I kind of reminded myself there, because I almost forgot about that, and uh, yeah, peace out friends.